road game. I know the last one you guys didn't necessarily start how you wanted to. Um, what are some things you've been focusing on to make sure that you come out of uh, out of the gate strong on the road? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's really, like you said, about the, the start. Um, can't start slow. Uh, you look at the games this year that we've, you know, dominated really, and it's been from the jump, right? Um, and so that's that's been the mentality. That's been the focus of practice. Um, come out strong, but we got to obviously play a complete game and finish too. What just makes this offense really good, really tough to stop? Yeah, they got they got playmakers all over the field. Um, obviously, that quarterback we've seen him before. Um, you know, he's pretty darn good. Uh, can can move all around. Will keep the play alive for a while. Um, and keeps his eyes downfield. So he's you know, we're gonna have to to, to lock onto those receivers in the back end. Um, and do our best to, to stop him, you know, from scrambling. Um, Got to play sound football. The receivers are good. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely an explosive offense and like to take shots down the field. Similarities between them and Washington State? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's who I kind of uh, compared them to. Um, different a little bit in the, the way they scheme things and, you know, their um, aggressiveness down the field, right, rather than a ton of screens and stuff like that. But... Um, it'll be a lot of tackling in space that we got to do, um, so we've been working on that. Is there anything you've seen on tape with Delore that makes him more difficult in this scheme than the last time you guys saw him? Um, you know, I'd really just say the, the, the weapons he has around him, right, and deep threats that he has around him. Um, you know, he can air, air, it down, <laughs> air it out down the field. Um, but, you know, same, same, same player um, can, can run scramble, so we gotta got to stop him. You played really well against these guys last year, but between the personnel changes here and defenses here and also them, I think they have like 50 new players. Yeah. They're clearly not a 12 and 13 based personnel team. Is there yeah. anything you can even take from just playing well against them? Is there anything you can take from last year's game against these guys? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely very different. Um, you know, different in terms of the personnel and the weapons they got um, and the scheme that they're running. Um, you know, it always feels good to, you know, after last year playing really well against them. Um, whether it's the uniforms that you see on the, you know, on the field, it's like, okay, something gives a good feeling about it. Um, you know, excited to play down there. That's going to be a new environment. But, you know, I feel good about every game I go into. You guys really haven't played in the heat since the summer. Will it be good to go back to that? Like, how, how are you feeling about it being like when you land, it's going to be hot out? Yeah, it'll, it'll be a little different. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm too worried about it. I don't think any of us are too worried about um, the weather. You know, it doesn't look like it's going to be 110, so that's good. Um, but, you know, any weather we got we to gotta adapt to and play um, our best ball. I think, you know, obviously in fall camp we did a lot of – it was pretty hot back then, and that's been a while. But, um, you know, I think guys can adjust. We'll be all right. It seems like your tackling has improved a lot this season, especially open field tackling. Is there something you're doing different in preparation? How have you seen that improve from your side of We've things? been working on it a ton um, in practice, right? And you see not just me, but a lot of guys are improving just from even game one. Um, and on our tackling, um, I you know take take a lot of pride in, in doing that because um, we were somewhat poor at it uh, initially, right? And so I, um, you know, as a leader on the defense, I feel like you, you got to show it first, right, before you can just talk about it. Um, and so that was something I definitely took pride in. Yeah. Two of their new weapons are Cowling and T Mac, two and four. Just yeah. what is challenging? What is going to? What, what's kind of the? the preparation that you have for them what yeah um you know those are those are good players cowing is a really good really good receiver um can do almost everything right uh runs routes out of every you know uh, uh position on the field um and then four obviously is you know big big tall uh you know good deep threat uh, good possession receiver um they got them all, all across the board it's gonna be a, a definitely a tough um matchup you know uh, but that's something that we embrace and look forward to. Any of your guys who have given you a really good scout team look for Cowing and kind of his versatility? Um, yeah, we're. I mean, we take a lot of the the you know the ones and twos, and we're bringing them over for some scout team reps. Um, you know, Josh Delgado, Chachi has been been over, um, giving us great looks. He runs some great routes, so that's you know giving us giving us great looks um, for number two for 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 Jacob, but you know everybody across the board, right? So uh, yeah, we've been we've been preparing pretty well. Jacob's not the biggest guy, but what do you see him do on tape that just makes him so, like you said, explosive? He's a playmaker, um, comes off the ball hard every time, um, great hands, runs really good routes, um, and I think speed in his routes is the you know the biggest thing. He doesn't stop and start a lot. It's like he's running his 
he's coming off the ball with speed and he's running his route with speed, right? So you, if you're not, if you slip up or jump one way or the other, you're, 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 you're toast. Um, so that's going to, you know, stress our technique. Boss is someone who's really seen an increased role so far this year. What have you seen kind of grow from him from, from week one to now? Um, tackling, the biggest thing. You know, and that's something that I, I uh, emphasize for him and I kind of kind of put stress on him to like, look, uh, we love you. We, you can run side to side, sideline to sideline. We love having you on the field. Um, you're a smart, smart player. Um, and you, you know, you can run sideline to sideline like that and, and be able to tackle and get guys down on the first wrap up. Um, you know, it's going to help our defense tremendously. So that's the biggest thing I would say. How, how and where does this opposing offense put stress onto a defense? Um, they, yeah, they, like I said, they take downfield shots. Um, they're going to try and, you know, push it down the field. But then again, right, our, our, our D line is going to have to cage the, the quarterback a lot because he's going to try and get out, keep plays alive. Um, and then as DBs, it's going to be, you know, a lot of plastering. Like we got to stay with those receivers once they get out of the, once he gets out the pocket. Um, you know, whether it's two seconds or 10 seconds, you know, he's running around back there. We got to stay on our receivers and, and limit those explosive big plays. Did you play a lot against the in 20th? Um, yeah, I played a good amount. Actually, that was probably most reps I got that season. What do you, what do you remember most about just facing him? Um, I would say the same thing. He was obviously a younger player back then. He, I think he's matured a little bit. Um, but you know, the, the way he's able to create plays and keep, keep plays alive. Um, they had a lot of explosive plays. I remember that game. Um, it was a little bit of a different scheme, but now they, they gear this offense for taking shots for to kind of live, um, you know, in his in his realm. Your guys' team has really improved week to week. There's one thing that you're looking to like get out of this week specifically. Uh, what would that be for you? Personally, um, honestly, at, well, first for the team, I want to see a complete game played as as far as defense. Right, we've done it really well we've done uh, everything really well in different games right we have to put it all together um you know personally i you know i feel like i want to continue to tackle really well um my man-to-man coverage i want to want to um improve um and you know prove to myself that i i'm really an elite cover guy um and then i mean we'll, i'll be playing uh, some different looks this week so uh, just doing my job and doing it to a to a high level there's many new faces are in the secondary this year just what is Christian brought because I mean like, like last week you guys are all matched up at Wilson against different times I think he was targeted like two of six when targeted for like seven yards and didn't allow a catch by Wilson I don't think you will allow a catch by Wilson yeah. so just what has he meant to this secondary yeah um, he's he's a huge addition if not the biggest addition to our defense um, you know it gives us well whether he's playing corner uh, nickel whatever he's playing he is an elite cover guy, um, pretty elite tackler as well. Um, you know, f- long, physical, and a smart guy, right? So, anywhere we put him, we feel like okay, he can shut down that that part of the field. Um, and like as a safety, if I'm playing safety, you know, it feels like okay, I can rely I can rely on him to completely like I don't have to help to that side of the field because um, he's got his matchup locked up one on one. When you talk about your own coverage, how much is the touchdown last week? Do you, are you able to move on from that? And that that was such an elite throw. Yeah, like that. There was virtually nothing you could have actually from where you started on that play. Yeah, there was basically nothing you could have done. Um, but there is, and that's that's where like, for me, you know, yeah, it was a great play. It was a great throw, um, and it was you know right into our coverage. Right, that's what they ran it. A great play. Um, but there's little things that I you know I'm looking at technique. Like okay, you know I might see that again. And how now can I you know cut to the I got to cut to the top shoulder just a little bit more instead of trailing right. Um, and I'll probably be in position to to make that play. Um, you know, playing the eyes a little bit better. It's just little stuff, and that's the stuff I love, right? Because that can challenge me and bring it down to the, the smallest details, um, and that's what you know separates a good player from a, a really great player.